from Special Waves and it uh, seems uh, very light and uh, super elegant and uh, I'm very curious to see how it works. Connected the USB cable and power on. Oh, it's the first time that uh, I plug the modus on the, the Mine S. the keys for the extraction. I will never lose them and I swap uh, these models. Now I'm setting a new automatic MIDI profile. I have the whole type of uh, profiles. the fine tune of the my S, I can push the module and I can change everything. I can change the color of the module. I can change the sensitivity of the push button for each module. I can change the MIDI channel of the old module. of the control change. Oh cool, I can change the LED intensity and now I'm selecting the port. Now I'm connecting the mine S to Ableton and to my modular system with the MIDI protocol. I'm connecting the MIDI out from my S and the MIDI in to my modular system. And now I'm ready to mapping my controller. Now I'm going to mapping the my S with Ableton. I'm mapping the volume folder of each channel. My first impression of my NES controller is excellent. It is versatile, very portable and a sturdy controller. It is very powerful since it can be connected to all synth and DO. It is fully customizable. You can set up each module whatever you want and save the setup on it. You can rearrange every module when you want, even on the fly. You can create a lot of profiles and uh, use many protocols like uh, MIDI or OSC. It has uh, MIDI in and MIDI out ports that are essential for my job. One of my favorite features is the possibility to have uh, an advanced setup for each module. The main advantage is uh, the possibility to create your own layout for uh, any situation in studio or uh, in live. 